The next stop was Salt Wells, nothing more than a stock pen and spur track, but an excellent location for the passing of train 104, the dome liner, city of Los Angeles. Appearing on the horizon and sweeping through at track speed, this was UP at its finest. Helping the 8,500 horsepower turbine is a DD35 GP35 combination for a whopping 16,000 horsepower. The following morning, just outside of Ogden, near the entrance to Weebar Canyon, on UP's divided double track, an eastbound with six SD-40s grinds upgrade into the canyon. The first leg of the epic journey was pulled by High Iron Company's restored nickel plate Berkshire 759. The train, named the Golden Spike Limited, passed through South Byron, New York, on Penn Central tracks on its first day, May 3, 1969. the city of Portland has already departed. Following 15 minutes later is the combined cities train 103. There is a crowd at the station and much other rail activity is evident, but most is not for 103, but for the arrival of the Golden Spike Limited, seen in the distance, as a freight pulls through the yards leaving eastbound. The crowds have arrived, and the event of the century is about to begin. The original event probably brought fewer people to the great ceremony. The original event was hastily conceived. The crowds pressed in so tightly that only a few actually witnessed the proceedings. The news media would not miss the event, nor would anyone who received a copy of the Golden Spike Centennial newspaper. And cameras were everywhere. Why not record an event that only happens every 100 years? When a caboose is seen mid-train in this part of the country, you can bet it's a combination of two trains, generally made up at Green River. It has the distinction of being the first yard east of the junction of the California and Pacific Northwest lines. Note the Penzi and New York Central Express cars returning home empty in freight service. Train 104, the combined cities train, eases through the junction and then gains speed as it races east. Charging east, two GEU 50Cs with the 5037 leading and an SD45 trailer hammer the BN Diamonds. 